Here's how to activate iMessage with a phone number. Now, if iMessage is using your email address and you're trying to add a phone number instead so that you can text through iMessage using that phone number, I'm gonna show you how to activate it. Let's hop into settings here and let's scroll down until we get to messages and tap on that. Now here under iMessage, you can see send and receive and I can tap on that and it gives me two different options, either my phone number or your email address. So if you have, say, your email address tapped on here and start new conversations from your email, you can always switch it over to just your phone number by just unchecking that email address. Now, if you don't see a phone number on here, you only see the email address, you're going to need to add the phone number so that you can activate it with iMessage. So let's do that. Let's go back and back and we'll go to the very top. Tap on your name. And then we'll tap on name, phone numbers, and email. And once this pops up, you can see reachable at, and it has my email and phone number. I can tap edit here. And if you just see an email address, you can hit add email or phone number, and then add phone number. Now, all you'll do is you'll just type in that phone number uh, and so type in your phone number like this, it will send a verification code to that specific phone number. Once you've verified it, it will be attached and associated with your Apple ID. So now that you've done that, we can hit cancel, back, back, and then we'll go back into messages there, and then the send and receive, and you should see that phone number there so that you can activate it using your phone number instead of the email address. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.